and I have a very high tolerance, but it was and the screw string is the only thing I can think of. All new tonight, a woman bitten by a poisonous snake right in a South Charlotte neighborhood. She was just walking out the door to take out the recycling when that snake attacked. It's the type of thing that could happen to really anyone in our viewing area. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton sat down with that woman. He joins us now live with her warning to everybody out there watching this newscast. Xavier, this, this is really just plain scary. Yeah, Bill, this is scary stuff. That woman that was bitten by that snake is still shaken up. And here's why a lot of people think because of the cooler weather, not as many snake sightings, but experts say not so fast with the fall really in the leaves everywhere. It gives snakes just another place to hide. I walked out the door, just a normal evening. The sun was starting to go down, stepped outside and you turn around, and you see it's a snake. It's the most shocking thing you can ever imagine. For Lisa Romanoff, that shocking surprise. I kept screaming for my husband and going, I got bit by a snake. Sent her rushing to the ER. It's my right heel, it could only find one fang bite. It could take months before the venom's out of your system. Lisa was attacked by this copperhead Friday. That night, she posted it on Facebook warning others. She spent several hours hooked up to an IV on a hospital bed. And about midnight, they finally said, um, we're not going to give you the antivenom because that can be worse than the snake bite itself. Stay away from the sharp end. Alan Ekman with A1 Wildlife Control says as temperatures drop, <laughs> snake sightings may heat up. This year with the change in weather, we have had lots more calls. As for Lisa. God, that looks awful. This is what I do all day long. She's not resting on her laurels, but her feet will be up for the next few days. The venom disperses throughout your body. And has a new fear in life. And by the way, I did not have a phobia before. I didn't like them. They scare me, but I wasn't one of those people that was freaked out. I think I will be now. Yeah, just absolutely terrifying. Now, one thing that Lisa did that experts say she should always do and will help potentially save your life. Lisa actually took a picture when all of this even during those scary moments. So that way she gave the picture to the doctors and the doctors were able to figure out what sort of snake it was. Reporting live, Xavier Walton, NBC Charlotte. Scary stuff, good warning. Thank you, Xavier.